Ms. Burks, you claim your former boss got you pregnant and now refuses to do anything for your four-year-old daughter, Messiah, leaving you in financial distress. You claim today's DNA test will prove that he is Messiah's father. You are joined by your brother who says he has had to step in and help out. Mr. Smith, you say you are 100% certain you are not her child's biological father and the truth will be revealed today. So, Ms. Burks, how important are today's results for you and your family? Well, this situation is very, very important. It's so important that when I go back home, it might not be a, a possibility that I might not have a home for my daughter. So this situation is very, very important. And so you are raising your daughter by yourself? Yes, I am. You've had no help from Mr. Smith? No. Messiah is four years old. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, She's beautiful. Mr. Smith? Yes, She Lord. says she needs your help. Well, I was under assumptions for a, a long amount of time that Messiah was not my child. Okay. And I was told in that by the plaintiff. You were told that by the plaintiff? Yes. Ms. Burks, did no, you tell me? No, that's not Ms. true. And I never told him that he would never be the father at all. Can I say something, Your Honor? Yes, uh, sir. Mr. Wright, what would you like to okay, add? Okay, now this, uh, this guy, he, uh, he, he's telling the story. Like, this is the guy that she was with all the time. So, like, how could you just up and say that? Like, come on now. He looked just like him. Can I say Are you something? serious? Well, yes, I, she was with me all the time because she worked with me. We were still together without working. When she stays still together, she mean we was in the same place together. We were never together. You're saying you were never in a relationship? We were never in a relationship. What was this? We worked together and one time we did, we had sex. I was It wasn't thirsty. no one time, Your Honor, he lying. It wasn't no time, it was more than one time. Way before I even had Messiah, it was maybe one or two years, way before I even had Messiah, we had sex. And it was off and on, off and on in the last year or two. And I was, I'm sorry, Your Honor. No, I was uh, working for him for a period of time as well. When I go home, them guys would still be at work. They'd be, like, spending the nights together, so. Yeah. Can I respond to that? Mm -hmm. I would like that. Okay. Reason why, Your Honor, I, she would spend nights at my home was because she, now my business was in my home. So there was also another male partner who stayed in my home as well, spent just he as much time. upstairs. He wasn't yeah. in the house. He stayed, he stayed upstairs, upstairs, so he, he don't even upstairs. know yeah, he really what was going on. So he was your boss. How did you end up getting into a sexual relationship with your boss? Well, we, one day we after work, we had a couple of drinks. Um, he asked me for a massage. Um, he was styling a massage in my bag. I massage his, one thing that... He asked other. you for a massage, and he ended up massaging you? That's yeah. incorrect, Your Honor. What happened was, one day we was together. We all got drunk after a day of work. She asked me, can she spend a night in my home? And she asked oh to God. massage my back and my feet. He lying, <laughs> massage. That's, because a, we that's was... a lie. That's a lie. Okay. What? Did you let all your employees massage your back no. and your feet, Mr. Smith? No. No, I did not let all the employees massage my back and feet because it was actually only three of us who was in my home at the time. All the other employees were outside field reps. Nobody else was in our inner circle of hanging out together. So was this part of the job description or were you just trying to flirt with her at that point? At, at that point in that time, it was, I was drunk and yes, I flirted with her at that time. It wasn't no, he was drunk, drunk. He know what the heck he was doing. It wasn't no drunk. So Mr. Smith, your testimony is that this was a one-time thing or was this an ongoing this, sexual relationship Yana, with an employee? This, I'm sorry, Yana, this was a one-time thing. It wasn't a one-time thing. After no. work, with an employee after we all had a long day and we had some drinks. Why That's such a discrepancy, though? She says it was ongoing for almost two years. Yeah. You say it was only one time. Because for that two-year span, when she was saying that was this supposedly relationship, she was literally, literally telling our friends and co-workers That's that I was true. her boyfriend. That's not true. That's not true at all. To the fact. They, they was assuming that we was together because we've been together. We would be together all the time. So they assumed that. Mr. Uh, Wright, let me ask you. You said you okay. also worked no. for Mr. Smith for a period of time. Yeah, I did, yes, sir. How long? 
Um, I'd say maybe a couple months. And during the time you worked for him, did you have an occasion to see your sister be involved, go out with him? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, they, they were together all the time. They, We've like, never went on a date. No. Never. Uh, it don't have Your to Honor. necessarily be a date. It was to, never to no go. date, but uh, yeah. we all... It's his, like you said, the home. He was at his home. We yeah. go chill at his house. Your Honor, she's trying to build it up as if I was doing something special or, or something by inviting her to my home and her being with me on You're a, saying yeah. that she was elevating the stakes, that this was not what it was, that you no. were just co-workers, you had one night yes. of indiscretion, yes, and it was yep. just that. Yes. Yes. But, yes. Ms. Burke, you said... If it was, you you honor, we didn't just have sex one time, you honor, and, and there go Messiah, and I didn't know who the baby, the father is. It wasn't never that. I was dealing with him, this, this man one or two years before, way before the Messiah came along. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When you found out Miss Burks was pregnant, how did that go? I congratulated her because she told me her and her boyfriend at the time, who she was dating, was having a child. So it That's was a regular true. day of That's work. That's not true. It was a regular That's day true, at work, Yarn. That's not true, Yarn. So how true. did you tell Mr. Smith you were pregnant? Meaning I, I already knew she was pregnant. He did know I was pregnant. And he, but why would you ask me again did you if the baby was yours? Did you originally tell him that it was your ex-boyfriend's child? No, no, I told him, it, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I did. Okay, I did. now I we did. remember. Thank you. I did. So, Mr. Smith, yes, Your she Honor. comes over and she tells you I'm pregnant with my ex-boyfriend's child. We're going to have a baby together. No. Congratulations. No. I'm like, good That's for you. That's not it. No. It's good to see that, you know, that you and your boyfriend is getting together. It's four years later. Mm-hmm. How did four years go by without this getting resolved? He didn't ever, he didn't ever want to do it. I, I, I did want to do it. I mean, I was nervous and everything, but I wanted to... He didn't want it. Your Honor, I, I will admit that I did not push to find out if the child was mine as much as I should have in hindsight. But this young lady came to me and told me at the time that this was not my child. Look at her. She looks just like him. Your Honor, the only reason that that is an issue is because the gentleman who she was with at the time is very similar to my exact features as well. Yeah. Well, no, he, he don't was look tall nothing and like he her. He a little darker than him. Right, he don't look nothing Way like a little darker than him. That baby do not look nothing like no, him. He don't look look so let me ask you this, Ms. Burt. You said there is a potential that yeah. there's another man that could be Messiah's biological father. Where is he? Well, he's not around. Does he want to be a part of her life? Not, not at all, sure. Your Honor. She came to me with the story to when she eventually told me that he's not going to help her with it. She basically told me that he was like, I'm not going to be dealing with you. Bye. That's not true. She had me and all our employees before. She even came to me and told me about that, hey, this child could be yours. She had all of us believing that it was his. And she had him believe Oh, that. my God. That's not true. Like I said before, she was always with him. It wasn't a so one-time like, thing. Honor, it yes, never was a one-time was... thing. So, Messiah is now four years old. Have you developed any type of a relationship with yes, her? Yes, Your Honor. I've had Messiah in my home several times living with me. Really? Yes, because of Miss Burke's inability to keep a, a safe environment for Messiah. And the reason why I did that, under the idea that I was still thinking that she wasn't mine, is because I did not want to see the child go through the same situation Ms. Burks did. Why would you, why would you do that if you, wasn't the, if you think you wasn't the because father? Because I did not want the child to be stuck with you. That's right. That's, That's the I, truth, you Stuck with you. Right. And well, so you would have Messiah at your home. You would just be taking care of her on your own? Yes. That's For a, how that, long a, at a time? That's a in, lie. An inklings of easily six to four months, six that's to a lie. eight that's months. That's a doggone Your lie, that's a man. Lie. That's a doggone Your lie. Honor. Your Honor, I would have the child with me for, I want to say, weeks before I would have Miss Burks come to me and say something like, hey, if you don't let me stay with you, then I'm going to take Messiah. That's not true. That's not true. So you believe she was using Messiah 
to get back in to be able to stay at your home. Not only stay at my home, but she want this. The plaintiff has it really bad for me, almost stalkerish. That's not true. Yes, she was with me all the time. And he That's, know, even my ex know. And you yes. wasn't working all the time. Yes. Right. She and we, was right. with me all the time, multiple reasons. One, she would get kicked out of everywhere she stayed. So she would come and knock on my door, two not o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock That's in the morning, That's several lie. times. That's lie. Two, That's the lie. company that I did, I owned and I, I ran out of my home. So all my employees would be there, all our friends would be there, before work, after work, during work. Three, the place where we placed our, where we did our job was, was literally a block away from my home. So after work, during work, paperwork pickup, us just, hey, I'm too tired right now, everyone would go to my home. When she stated about the gentleman staying upstairs in my home, it was because I lived in a, a six unit building and I had access to all the units, so I gave the gentleman upstairs an apartment. I offered her an apartment as that's well. That's not true. No. That's not true. Oh my no. goodness. I, that's not You true. all have not agreed on one thing. No, that's not true. Everything yeah. he said yeah, is a that, lie. That's not true. He's that's a, true, a no. good liar. Goodness yeah, gracious. Come on, man. I mean, everything he states, you say that's not true. It's everything not. you state, he says that's not true. He's a, a great liar. Yeah. I don't see how he could sit in front of a judge and lie like that. Who is Messiah calling daddy? Me. The reason Yana, she called me daddy is because when she can't, or when she falls down, I've always been the one there to get and Yeah, take off them and out on. Hmm? Mr. Smith, you say Messiah calls you daddy. Yes. Have you stepped up to the plate consistently? No. Consistently. No. No. Okay, so if you have, and she's four years old, why now? Why contest it all now? Two reasons. One, I've just made a move to Arizona to start a new life that I have. Okay. With your right. other girlfriend. With, with right. your other yes. girlfriend, right. And the kids staying with, with his mother's house. With, no, oh, no. No, we are not in my mother's house. His cousin's house. house. No, we it's are not, not his. in my cousin's house. It's not his. And you stay with us numerous of times. He stay with us. Okay, listen. Oh, listen, no, Mr. Smith, you doing all this. You, you, you stepping in to save Miss Burks. You taking Messiah in when you feel like she doesn't have a place to live. Yes. You say you stepped up consistently. Always. The child calls you daddy. Yes. What in the world? You got all of this going on. Yes. And yet you still deny paternity. The, uh, I was getting to the second part of that, Yana. The second part of the reason, again, is because now that I started my life with the young lady who I'm dating now, she has a daughter as well. And they're starting to get confusion as in dealing with the daughter, as in dealing with the, the young lady who I'm dating now. That's what hurt me about it. Yeah, we've been in that child's life. And I, like me, I haven't had a child in my life, and my father in my life. He was off and on in my life. And I don't want to make the same mistake as having Messiah not having a father in her life. It, it hurts me because I don't want her to be in the same predicament as me. I cry, I used to cry off and on. Because I'm scared that I didn't know the father is, and she and I never know who her father is when she, while growing up. So it hurts me. He gonna go back to his Arizona and, and live his life as his girlfriend, her, her daughter. What you're fearing is that he's moving on with his life, and he's gonna sever ties with Messiah. Yeah. Okay. The only way we are gonna get down to the bottom of this and figure out how we can move forward is to get the results, and I have them. Jerome. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Burks versus Smith, when it comes to four year old Messiah Burks, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Smith. You are not her father. I'm sorry, excuse me. Oh what? God. You are not her father, sir. I, I've grown to love this young lady. I'm still gonna help take care of Messiah. Where is she? 
Mr. Smith, I can see that this is making you emotional. I'm sorry, man. I'm, that's all I can say. I'm sorry. Because I, I raised this girl. She looked like that. She acted like that because I installed those things in her. I'm sorry I could not give you a different answer, Mr. Smith. I'm sorry. You say you're still going to be there for Messiah, and that's a beautiful thing. And it's not going to be an easy road, but you can do it. Ms. Brogdon, you are in court to prove to Ms. Jones and her daughter that her deceased son, Tyrell Jones, fathered your one-year-old daughter, Quamira. You say once the DNA proves your case, they need to step up for your baby. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Sugden, you say without a doubt that your brother did not father Ms. Brogdon's daughter. You say the stress of her accusations have affected your mother greatly and is preventing her from healing after the loss of her son. Uh, you want her to move on and find her daughter's father. Yes, Is that correct? Honor. So, Ms. Brogdon, how has your daughter been affected by the denial? She has been affected from no, no partake in her father's side of the family. My baby's one, she only saw their side like four times. She only see them when it's time for gatherings and stuff about Tyrell. It's hard. My baby had a seizure. She been sick. I've been going through everything with her. I have five kids and she's my fifth one and I'm struggling. Didn't have a job since I have her. Like, I have no help at all. all and this is really difficult for you to raise her alone. Yes. Ms. Sugden, you say that there's no possible way your brother is this child's father. I don't think that's my brother's baby. I don't. Why? Tamisha, first of all, slept with two of my brothers. So that's what left me, like, I'm, I'm, I can't trust anything she says, honestly. I mean... She slept with... With two of my brothers. Two of them. Two of my brothers. And that's true, Ms. Brogdon? Yes, Your Honor. But you're in court saying that just Tyrell is your daughter's father. Yes. If you slept with the other brother, too, yes. could he potentially be the child's father, too? No, Your Honor. I heard otherwise. You did. What yes, did you I hear, Ms. Sugden? Ms. Chambers told me that she slept with my other brother around the same time that she slept with Tyrell. So there is a possible... Like, so she slept with two brothers... Around the same time that she... Around the same time. Yes. That's not true, Your Honor. Ms. Brogdon, you were in a relationship with Tyrell? Yes. You were? Mm-hmm. Explain to me the nature of that relationship. Me and Tyrell, we were together for like three years. Like close to the end, Tyrell started cheating. He started staying out. He started doing all this type of stuff. It was one night, Tyrell lied and said he was at the police district. I went to the police district to check to see if he was there. He wasn't there. I went to his grandmother's house where he said he was there. He was not there. And I waited for him. I stayed there. I was drinking. I got mad and me and the brother had sex. I had sex with Paul in, I say, March. I got pregnant in June. How do you end up dating one guy, you dating this guy, right. and then you sleep with his brother? Because you're mad. Because you're Just mad. Just for the anger? Yes. And so you did it to get back at him? I've been through a whole lot with Tyro out of the three years. It was not just him lying and staying the night out. No, it's more than that. Ms. Sugman, you're saying you've heard personally that she was sleeping with two brothers around the same yes. time. Yes, Your Honor. I slept with Paul one time. All it takes it's is one not. time, sweetheart. No. It so, Ms. Sugman, do you think home. it's a possibility that your other brother could be this child's father? I think well. there's a possibility. That's what, yes, I got that news. So, yes, now I think there's a possibility. Yes. This is what she did to us. She slept with two brothers and, tore, and we hate her because of that. She okay. slept with two of my brothers and tore our family apart. She had my I'm brothers fighting out know. there. We're close. She had my brothers How fighting. They never fought ever. Know, though? They so never Ms. fought Jones, ever. You say you, you, you're very upset because... No, how am I supposed to know that that's really Tyrell, um, Tyrell's daughter? If she's not Tyrell, she's Paul did. So, bottom line, she's your granddaughter and she's Ain't your no niece. Bottom line. Ain't no bottom she's line. She's still part know. of your family. Bottom <laughs> line. What you mean, bottom line? Bottom line, she's still part of your you family. You don't know that. It's somebody else in the picture. And it's we're not supposed to do nothing without knowing. How you think somebody's going to do something without knowing? Hold on, hold on. You crazy? Else in the picture. Are you crazy? Ms. No, Brown, ain't doing so, crazy what we supposed child? to do? We don't know if that's I'm our baby crazy or not. About my child. Wait a She's minute. Wait Jones. a minute. We don't know that. Wait, Ms. Brogdon. We find that out. Ms. Brogdon, hold on, because your testimony just changed slightly. You said at first you only exactly. slept with Paul once, exactly, and it was nowhere near the window of conception. And then you just said now that it's either one of their babies. If it's not it's... Tyrell's, it's Paul. So either way, the child is related to you. 
So it's which... no way. I'm saying it because <laughs> that's what they say. They're trying to make me seem like Paul's my baby dad. He's not. He's not my child's father at all. We don't know who your baby daddy is. Okay. So ultimately, you're saying this has affected your family? Yes, and my brother's living with... He has to live with guilt because of it, you know? Now he has to carry this with him. You know, it's just too much. It's affecting our family too much. We need to get this over with ASAP. Because he has guilt because he knows slept he with slept her. with her. Yeah, and it's a possibility, you know, that he could be the father. He was, like, even upset about trying to take the test. You know, it's too much. He was upset about taking the test because he know he's not my baby father. I heard that we'll story see. from a family member. So today's test will reveal which of the two brothers is the father of your child or whether or not either of them are, in fact, the father of your child. This is indeed a family affair. Two brothers slept with the same woman and you don't know which one is your child's father. Is there anyone else you were seeing during that time? No. And you say Tyrell, he wanted this pregnancy. Yes, Tyrell went to every appointment, every one. But she didn't say it was his until he died. We didn't even know about it. Even when she was at the hospital delivering the baby, she never called us, ever, never once. We could have went I... to the hospital right then and got a test done. She never called. How was it his Why baby? Why didn't you call? Excuse me, Your Honor. When I had my daughter, I called Tyrell's child mother. Uh, what she got to do Tierra, with Tierra, Tyrell's sister, was right there. And Deanna told her, this is Deanna. Deanna told her, Misha had the baby. Do you want to go to the hospital? When I'm going to the hospital for? Yeah. Right then and there, y'all could have had a DNA test. I never That was the day before no you DNA was about test. to leave the Okay, hospital. so you brought a witness, ma'am. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Deanna Chambers. Miss Chambers, you are... Tyrell's daughter's mother. Tyrell's daughter, so his older child. No, the middle. The middle child's mm -hmm. mother. Yes. And you're here testifying on behalf of Ms. Brogdon. Yes. Who claims that he fathered her child as well. Yes. What do you have to add? When she called me and said she had the baby, Tierra was at my house. I said, Tierra, she had the baby one go. Oh, what I'm going to the hospital for? Right then and there, y'all could've got a DNA test done on that day. Why didn't Mish call? Why is she going through you all the time? She's a grown woman. You're right. Why Excuse did she me? go through me? But she's going don't, through you about like everything. Y'all don't like me. Y'all hate me. That's But you're a that's grown woman. woman. If you want somebody to help true. you with your child, you'll be a woman about it. Excuse the me. The same way how okay, y'all on let's, Instagram let's, talking let's about me and my child. Down. My innocent child that don't have nothing to and do with the situation. Her. It's ladies, you. ladies. No, it's not. It's about you. This is about her. Why we here? about what you did. You messed up Ladies. So, Ms. Brogdon, you're saying that... Ms. Sugden and Ms. Jones, they didn't know anything throughout the pregnancy. No, they did know something about... You the believe they did? Yes, they did. I came to the funeral pregnant. I was eight months pregnant. How didn't y'all like, know I was pregnant? I didn't see you at the I funeral, Mish. I, I don't, didn't see you. I, don't, I, didn't I came to your grandmother's house the day that he passed away. She sat at I the held... table at the repast with the family, pregnant. Yes. Tira, you did not sit next That's to me not. on your grandmother's couch and say Tyrell's gone. I spoke to you, but you were too busy crying. And you hugged me and said Tyrell is gone. I never hugged you. I didn't even like you. Whatever. I, never hugged I didn't you. like you either. I don't like it. And that's old. fine. And I don't right. like you. No. All right, all right, all right. They are upset because of the fact that you admittedly slept with two brothers, Miss Brogdon, right. and it wasn't right on their part either. But they are, of course, feeling a a kind of anger, resentment towards you. Yes. It's had long-standing consequences. So you do understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So you brought a witness. Yes, I'd like to hear from her now. Please stand, ma'am. <laughs> and your name, ma'am? Um, Tiara Jones. Okay, Ms. Jones, mm -hmm. you're Terrell's sister. Yes, I am. His okay. Younger sister. And what do you know about this firsthand? I was told not only from Ms. Chambers, but another mutual friend that she had another her other's baby daddy, last name was Jones. And um, originally, Kwamira was named after him and not Tyrell Jones. So I, oh. it's just a coincidence that both of their last name is Jones, but at first I heard that he was there. And then, you know, however it went, he, he was no longer there. And then that's when I started hearing, okay, things about Tyrell. Now, I knew that she was, she was, in fact, pregnant, but, um, I never heard it out of Tyrell's mouth that, oh, I'm having a baby with her. All, all everything that we ever heard was back and forth, he say, she say. The day that she did go to the hospital when she, um, had her baby, Deanna was getting dressed. 
And I asked her, where are you going? And she did, in fact, say, oh, Misha had the baby, I'm going to the hospital. Not one time did she invite me, but I was gonna go I anyway. sure had to invite you. You didn't have to invite me, but Especially I did not know if that's test, my That's niece. your invite. She had the baby. There you go. That's your invite to come with me or call okay, your mom. Okay, but I never... I never I even knew... I should have to say, let's go. Give me your hair because... She's not the one that got to do the DNA test, firstly, though. What's going I don't, on? Firstly, I'm, I'm, I can't even do the DNA test. No, That's yeah. number one. Number two, I, I never but said... But you can make the phone call I never call said, I never said that was my baby. niece. Okay, I think, the, I think the question is, is this. If there was a level of concern or belief that one of two brothers could be this child's father, yeah, and once she has you did know that the child was born, why didn't you go to the hospital? Did you not because go because she you didn't five believe? Maybe daddies and it, it don't matter. She has and it so that's been why. Anybody. That's that's the bottom line anybody, of what your testimony Gerard. that it could be it's someone. It could have been anybody. And it, we don't know if that's our baby. Not running up no And the crazy thing is, a year ago. And the crazy thing is, your honor. So why she ain't tell me when I asked her to give me the money? Ladies, one at a time. The crazy thing is, your honor, I feel like they play with the situation and not in, in delicate. Like, my brother's... He's no longer here. Right. He's not here. And if you say, okay, well, if it could be... It could be Paul's baby or it could be Tyrell's baby. The fact that my brother's no longer here and you're just saying, like, well, it could be either or. Either way, it's your niece. You're not saying it's Paul. You're saying it's Tyrell's baby. And my brother is no longer here. And if he was here, he might have would have said it was his baby. And but y'all don't right along But he's not. And we would have. But he's not. right along with you and you your baby. Because I... The, the, if you let her finish, her finish but he's not. Yeah. No, because my brother said it was his, so we went on quick. Like let I said. her finish her testimony. She waited patiently while you all spoke. Let her finish what Thank she's you. trying to say. Thank you. So basically, I'm not saying. At first, I was saying, yeah, I don't think it's her. You know, I don't think it's his baby and every and all of that. Today, you know, I, it, it can be a possibility. It can. But I honestly, I felt strongly about it because I knew a lot of her past. With, you know, she was she got around. So at the end of the day, no, I'm not gonna flock too hard and say, this is my niece. No, I'm not. This is why we're here today. I'm here to find out. And I feel like there's... I'm tired of the accusations. To say that this is, in fact, Tyrell's baby, you can't say that because you know that you had other sleeping partners and you have five different baby... different baby daddies. And it, it's a possibility that it, it is not Tyrell Jones. Excuse me. Did you think about my other baby dads when, when you were holding her at um, Sian's birthday, birthday party? party? So what? We was trying help. to see if we looked. If she looked like her. She looked like just the baby doesn't look like yeah, this is my baby doesn't look baby. like this our family. My brother's baby. I never said that. You're lying, pictures. Hannah. You're lying. I never said it was my brother's baby. Never did I say that. So you're Took lying. Pictures with the baby crying, holding this baby the whole time. Saying, this is my brother. It was two months after my brother died. It was emotional. Yeah, I was crying. You're right. I was crying. I just lost my brother. I still cry to this day about anything about my brother. We so what? Cry. So don't say I was crying. So what are you saying? So what? You, so point? what? That's not your brother. Right, exactly. So what? That's my everyone baby show. So what? That's not your brother. And so what you're saying, Ms. Chambers, is you personally witnessed her hold the baby. Yes. And express a love and affection towards the baby as her brother's child. That's yes. what you say and you witnessed. Yes. And yes. you say, Ms. Sugden, you were holding the baby, but this was not about knowing for certain whether this I was I never knew for sure. To the, I, from the first day till the last day, I never knew for sure. I held the baby staring to try to see if I saw my brother in her, and I did not, and I still don't, honestly. And I'm staring and staring. Yeah, tears came down my eyes. It was, I was crying. I was at my niece's birthday party. It, it was an emotional time. It was two months after my brother's murder. Yeah, I was crying. And? Your Honor, we're just here to know the truth. That's it. That's I it. just want to know the truth. That's all I and want. we have that truth for you. Thank you. I think Thank it's you. time we go to the next Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. The first part of this testing is to determine whether or not either brother has fathered your child. Right. The second level, if we make that determination, will be to determine which brother, in fact, fathered your child. In the case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones, pertaining to 17-month-old Quamira Jones, it has been determined by this court. Miss Christina Jones is related to Quamira Jones. <laughs> Now, we know that one of the two brothers, in fact, is Quamir's biological father. Now we will determine 
which brother? In the case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones, pertaining to 17-month-old Quamira Jones, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Paul Jones is not the father. <laughs> I'm sorry. Which means... I'm sorry. Tyrell Jones is... Quamira's biological father. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I appreciate the fact that you crossed the aisle and made an apology. <laughs> you all have been through a lot. All of you. You all lost someone very near and dear. And now we can honor him by being good to her, by giving her the type of love and support she deserves, and by you all being the village that she will need. Every child needs their village. Yes. Mr. Lloyd, you are in court today to prove that you are the biological father of the defendant's one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Courtney Marie Grimes. You claim the defendant led you to believe that you were the father only to have a bomb dropped on you that another man was her dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rayleigh, you say you are 100% sure that Mr. Lloyd is not Courtney's biological father and you will prove your case in court today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Well, we'll meet that other man in just a moment, but first, let's start from the beginning. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. So, you, you were in a relationship with somebody else when you met Mr. Lloyd or were you in a relationship with Mr. Lloyd and met somebody else? I had just recently got out of a relationship when I had met Mr. Lloyd. Uh, of course, I was ending my last relationship with, Ms. with the other party. All right, so then you had finished the other relationship or you were still kind of seeing this other guy? We had, like, just ended. It wasn't even a, a month apart or a week apart that me and him had ended. And we had started getting intimate right there. All right, so, Mr. Lloyd, at the time you were dating Ms. Rayleigh, did you feel like you were all... were in an exclusive relationship? At the time, I didn't. You know, as... Yeah, as it prolonged, I did start catching feelings for her. Actually, we moved together afterward. We moved you did? In. We moved in together. So, you moved in together? Yes. When she tells you she's pregnant, she comes to you and says what exactly? We was actually sitting in her room, actually. We was talking. She started crying, said she was pregnant. I was excited, you know, this is my first child. So I was excited and I was willing to take up the responsibility to be in Courtney Grimes' life. I already had doubts. I knew of this guy, you know, so I already had doubts, doubts about it. So the third month, I take her, her mom out to eat and we, we just nipped it in the bud like, this your baby. It's like, was she like three, four months pregnant? Do you remember this dinner meeting, Ms. Rayleigh? Yes, ma yes, Your Honor. And you all cleared the air and told Mr. Lloyd, there's no doubt you are the father? Yes, Your Honor. So why is it all of a sudden, three months, two months before the baby's born, you tell him he's not the father? Well, Your Honor, I was nine weeks pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. That's when the doubting and everything started. I said, well, nine weeks ago, I wasn't with Mr. Lloyd at all. I was with Mr. Grimes. It was around Super Bowl which was in February the 2nd, is the day that they trying to say I was conceiving between the 2nd and, I believe, the 6th. And I wasn't around Mr. Lloyd at the time that they had gave me my conceiving date. Excuse me, um, um, We was dating around the Super Bowl, too. You know what I'm saying? We was dating. So, how far along into the pregnancy did she tell you that you're not the father? It was, like like, the last four months. But the seven, eighth months, I left. I said, I'm done with it. I, this is not my baby. I moved to Indiana. I have to stay down there for, like, a month, two. I get a phone call, and she like, I have doubts. I don't, I don't think Courtney... I think the baby was even born, actually. She was like, um, I don't see it in Curtis. A mother knows her, her baby. A mother knows, as she told me. That's what made me come back and try to continue on to be there for my daughter. So, when the baby was born, Ms. Rayleigh... Who was present? Um, Mr. Grimes was. Oh, because... Oh, excuse me. She didn't even tell me that he was present when he was born. She, from my knowledge, wasn't well, yeah, nobody I, I there with the mother. 
he didn't need to be there if he's not the dad. So that's why Mr. Grimes... But what the, the dots I'm trying to connect are, when you told him he was the father, he accepted he was the father, but you say that this window between Mr. Grimes and Mr. Lloyd is only a span of two to three weeks anyway, right? Three weeks. Three weeks. Or four. Yeah, three to four weeks. I didn't even know the baby got born. I had to find out off of Facebook. Mm. How old was Courtney when you first met her? Did you ever get to see her? Um, yes, I think I, I seen her, I think like the, the second or third week she was out the hospital. She let me see Courtney Grimes whenever I wanted to. She would give him his chance and still give me my chance too. But wait, you, she gave the baby Mr. Grimes' his last name. Yes, yeah. She gave him his last name. Actually, I'm the one who gave, came up with the name Courtney Marie. Actually, Mr. Grimes came up with the name. So wait, and... you sleeping with two different guys, but they both picked the same name. How awkward that sound. It, it they both does, said Courtney. It... That's what we think is a good name. Yep. Way too much synergy here. <laughs> Actually, I think she did already had she already had the baby. Me and Curtis Grimes had came to a conclusion and actually met up on Facebook and was trying to find out because she was still playing that it was my baby mm. and still playing his baby. So we met up. Actually, we y'all, drove they up pulled to up them. on me. I was like, okay, so both of them asked me in the car together. They in the car together. I'm with another friend who's the daddy, Chantel. So I said, okay, Curtis, you're the sperm donor and Mr. Lloyd is the one who will be there for her, you know? And I, that, at the time, that's what the situation was. So wait was. a minute. The two potential fathers get together. You all get together. Yeah, just... Correct. And decide y'all gonna do a sting operation. <laughs> Correct. Together. You all gonna yeah. track down Miss Rayleigh. Yeah. And you all gonna get down to the bottom of which one of us is this father. Because you feel like stop. she's playing both of you. And you say, Ms. Rayleigh, you were clear. You said, I Mr. Grimes... I gave what asked for. Basically, you said, you the biological father... And you told Mr. Lloyd, but you are basically the daddy. Because we say in this courtroom, it takes DNA to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. So you say Mr. Lloyd stepped up to be the daddy. He he be there for Courtney no matter what. He's always there. He's a good dad to her. So now you're here because you want Mr. Lloyd to know for certain that he's not the biological father. Correct, Your Honor. We're here here to find out because she don't know 100%. That's why we're here. All right. Jerome, I want to talk to uh, Mr. Grimes. He's joining us from his hometown. Mr. Grimes, do you believe she's your biological child? I'm going to say yes. Then I got some doubts, too, though, at the same time. So you have doubts. Tell the court why you have doubts. Since Antia been pregnant, she's been playing both sides. One minute, Corey the daddy. Next minute, I'm the daddy. Corey about to spend some money on the baby. He the daddy. Like, we both still seeing her to this day, you know? So... You both still seeing her? We both still seeing Courtney. I mean, he... He go... He been to Memphis more than me. I been to Memphis one time. He been down there three, four times. <laughs> but Shantia not telling me that. <laughs> so you saying this is supposedly your biological child with your last name, but this other man has been to see the child more than you? Man, I, I'm talking about... I got my whole family calling me like, why is it another man with your daughter on this page talking about daddy's baby? Like I said, I got doubts. I mean, she she look like she look like him. She look she got my nose. She look like both of us, you ask me, but that's what I said. <laughs> both of y'all are mommy, yeah, you know? I see that with both of so, y'all. Both of y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Who's paying child support to help support this baby? Neither one. I can't pay child support if I'm not on a birth certificate. Ain't Let me tell you, you can still... Certificate. You don't have to but pay I child still, support. I still come out of pocket whatever, when, I, when I want to. Support is... It can be, of course, done through the state, but it also can just be done personally between the parents. I mean, I tell people, handle it through the living room so you don't have to handle it through the courtroom. So have you helped with this child? Yes, Your Honor. You have. Mr. Grimes, she has your last name. Have you been helping to support Courtney since she's been born? Man... I'm going to tell you like I told Shantia. I told Shantia when Corey, Mr. Lloyd, got out of her life, I told her, give me blood, I give her baby love, basically. I'm tired of her playing both sides. I got six other kids that I got to worry about. She's not finna keep he playing with this kid. Eight. If Courtney minds, Courtney makes seven. How old are you, Mr. Grimes? 23. We just had a baby. We just had a baby together. That's the eighth one. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Now you all, uh-uh. 
No, 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 no. Now, you all know. this. How many kids you have, Mr. Lloyd? This be my first child. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I actually... I actually... I actually went and begged for my job back so I can support my daughter. This would be your first child? Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you? Yes, Your Honor. But Ms. Rayleigh is, has maintained consistently throughout this hearing that you are not Courtney's biological father. But that still does not sway right. you because you feel like you are. It doesn't sway me because I was already persuaded of that that was my baby. A month, after, no. Court, after Courtney was born, did and you she... call him back, Ms. Rayleigh, and yeah. say the baby doesn't look yeah, like I Mr. Know, Brown? I never said that she doesn't look like him because I see it all the way. But, oh, she got pretty hair. That's my baby. I said, wait. Nah, don't say I got no... Hell, I got some good... Oh, my God! I'm Help me, saying, Lord. I got it some... ain't Your about Honor. that. Hold on, it now. Was... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not... Uh, hold on. I can't let you say something that ignorant. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh! Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We can't say that. Yeah. We can't say that. Nappy here. No, we're not even gonna say that. <laughs> because the truth is, as a, a, as a people, I th honestly, you gotta take that out your vocabulary. We can go one level deeper. The reason why this courtroom exists is to help ensure that children don't have to go without their father. So this ain't no joke to me. So don't come in here with no racial nonsense talking about baby's hair because every piece of that child is beautiful yeah. and innocent. Yeah. Honestly. And, and, and whether her hair is fine or coarse, or whatever it is, it is individually and uniquely hers. Given to her by God, and he don't make mistakes. So we gonna correct that right now. I don't wanna ever hear you say that again. Um, Your Honor, if I say something... I hope it's intelligent. It is. It's very, very intelligent. <laughs> um, what gives me the reason that she is mine, my mom tell me when I was little, when she used to change my diaper, used to do this diaper dance. Okay. I used to be excited. Courtney does the same thing when you change her diaper. And, um, I have a birthmark on my life, on my left side of my forehead, as well as Courtney. That gave me a strong doubt that it is mine. So you strong feel break. like, you, listen, you feel like you have now for 18 months, you've made trips to see this baby, you That's spend right. time with this beautiful little girl, and you look at her and you feel like there are similarities that confirm your belief that she's yours. Yes, Your Honor. This would be your first child. Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Rayleigh, you're saying you are certain that Mr. Grimes is her biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Or are you saying that you have an, a younger child together as well, so you just believe? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know. I'll be back for that one, too, to be honest with you. And this is my first time hearing that one also. You have a doubt about the subsequent child as well, the paternity? Yes, ma'am. And that's what makes me upset about this whole situation because they be trying to play me like I'm just this bad person and this bad mother and this bad, just bad. And I'm not. I had conversation way before I even turned seven months that he's not the father. I never told him that he wasn't the father at all. And to hear him say this in court today, he would never, ever speak to me again unless it's about our children. And that's it. It's no more going back and forth because I have been going back and forth with these two for too long. And it's time for it to end. Either I'm going to be one of them or neither one of them. And I want it to come out today because I'm done with it. Absolutely done. I just want the truth to Keep be your gone. legs closed. You won't go through this. If you keep your penis in your pants, you won't have this problem either. Lord, Lord, Lord. You're right, but that's why I don't think she minds, to be honest with you. Well, listen. DNA would tell it all. Listen, listen. Everybody in here has a part to play in this. Because none of you protected yourselves. Y'all run around here having too many babies like you baby factories. I mean, Detroit is a factory town, but this is not the type. <laughs> He's a factory his own self. Hold on. I'm from Detroit. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Jerome, I'm ready for the result. Let, let's get the answer to this, because we got to figure out how we going to move forward. Amen. Y'all, 25, 25, 23. So, Mr. Lloyd, I just want to know from you. If... This is your biological child. Do you want to have a relationship with Ms. Rayleigh? If, if Courtney was mine, 
I'm going to go down there and be a full-time parent with my daughter and support her through the whole nine yards. And if she is not? Then I go on with my life. <laughs> on my life. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lloyd versus Rayleigh, pertaining to whether Mr. Grimes or Mr. Lloyd is the father of one-year-old Courtney Rayleigh Grimes, it has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Lloyd. for y'all. Congratulations. But you're done. I knew it from the start. You done, bro. Calm down. Because the truth is, it's not done. Because you might have another baby. You potentially impregnated the same girl again. Man, y'all believe that if y'all want to. Y'all believe that if y'all want to. So you're saying now that because of this result, you further doubt the, the, the next child. The same thing we just went through with this baby? Since he was doing the same thing with this new baby. It's me and it's two other guys that's possible for this one. So, like I said, we'll I be back sooner or later. Possible.